Today we're making fried rice, and in order to make fried rice, you have to have your rice already cooked. I have a rice cooker, so I'm going to add in one cup of rice and two cups of water. And then you just put the lid on and press cook. If you don't have a rice cooker, then you certainly can make it in a pan on the stove. You bring your water to a boil first, then put your rice in, and let the rice simmer for about 20 minutes or until all the water is absorbed. Now that my rice is done cooking, I'm going to put it in the refrigerator because when you make stir-fried rice, you do need to have cold rice to start with. The vegetables that I need for the stir-fried rice are an onion, Cut off each end. And I need a half of an onion peeled in or cut into thin strips. Usually we dice the onions, but for stir fried rice, you just want to, you're just going to slice them into thin strips. After you wash your carrot, just peel it. And you need a half a cup of carrots cut into matchstick like size pieces. Okay. So cut off the tip. And then cut the carrot into hmm, one and a half, two inch long pieces. And then Cut it in half, turn it upside down, cut it in half again, and just keep cutting until you have matchstick like pieces. And you need a half cup of those. You need two scallions chopped into thin circles. And you do use the green and the white. I just want to show you a tip about how to pee, how to, to get the core out of a head of lettuce. This is just regular old iceberg lettuce. And if you just take it and bang the core on the counter, what that does is it breaks the core out of the center of the lettuce. So you get the core comes right out that way. Um, then you need to make sure you rinse your lettuce and you, for the recipe you use a quarter head of lettuce. You'll cut it into four parts and you use one of the quarters. You just cut it into thin strips. The 
brown spots are called rust spots. They're perfect. They're not harmful at all. They're perfectly safe to eat, but if you want to peel those out, you certainly can. And then we'll put the lettuce into the rice. Into my pan, I'm going to put two tablespoons of oil. If you have a wok, certainly use one. If you don't have a wok, you can just use a skillet. And I'm going to heat my oil in, over medium high heat. My, my pan was already starting to sizzle already. So I'll go ahead and add in my onions and my carrots. My half cup of carrots. And I'm just going to let these cook until the carrot, the, the onions start to turn translucent and the carrots start to soften. If I want to use meat in the stir fried rice, I would certainly, could certainly do that and you would start doing that before you cook the carrots and onions. You could chop chicken, beef, pork, or you could even use shrimp and you chop it up into small pieces and you cook that first. Um, until it's almost done and then you add your carrots and onions to the meat and then at the point when the onions and carrots are done then you take all of the meat and carrots and onions out. Now that the vegetables are done I'm going to take them out and put them in a bowl, set them aside. You want to try to leave the oil that's in the pan already in the pan don't, so you don't just pour the whole thing out because then all the oil would come out too. So I'll set these vegetables aside and I'll turn my heat down to medium low now. I'm going to crack two eggs into a bowl. Mix the white and the yolk together. And remember that I've already turned my heat on my skillet down to medium low. So now I'm going to pour my eggs into my skillet. And I'll let my eggs cook a little bit. Okay, let your eggs set. They don't need to be completely cooked because they're of course going to keep cooking. But now that they're set, I'm going to go ahead and add my two cups of cooked rice that's been in the refrigerator, so it's cold. And you're going to break this up until it's all, all the rice grains are separated. And you'll see that uh, with Asian cooking, you use a short grain rice, which is very sticky. So you want to break it all up so that all the rice grains are separated. And while you're doing that, all your eggs will get chopped up. Now that my eggs and rice are chopped up, I'm going to add a half teaspoon of chicken bouillon, two tablespoons of soy sauce, and 
And if you need to add a little bit more cooking oil, you may. Because, of course, you don't want everything to stick to the pan and burn. Um, but just be careful not to add too much cooking oil because you don't want your fried rice to be greasy. So stir in your soy sauce, your chicken bouillon, and your and salt and pepper to taste. So I'm going to get the salt and pepper in there. Go light on the salt because the soy sauce and the chicken bouillon are both very salty. And we'll pause there. Now I'm going to add in my cooked vegetables, my carrots and onions. And you can definitely add any vegetables that you like to this. You could add peas, you could add mushrooms, whatever vegetables you like. Um, you want to cook the tough ones first, like we did with the carrots and the onions. Um, but then at this point, if you wanted to add peas, you could add peas. And your peas and mushrooms could be added at this stage because they're softer vegetables. So get this all combined. And then we're going to add lettuce next, which I know is not American Chinese, but this is an authentic Chinese recipe. So we're going to add our lettuce next. I did forget, I also needed to add our green onions in at this point with the carrots and regular onions. Now is when you add in your green onions because they're a very soft vegetable, so they don't take very long to cook. You add them in at the end. Okay, just spread your lettuce over. And you don't want the lettuce to wilt, you just are heating it through. So you can just kind of put it in the middle to heat it through, but you don't want it to wilt. And once it's heated through, then you're ready to serve.